friends, Jaira here of Fashion Meets God, where I talk on most things faith, fashion, slash beauty. It feels so good to be back with you guys after like a month long hiatus of not uploading anything. There's been a lot going on under this house health wise. Everyone's been sick. I had like two rounds of having a fever. For the first half of October, I was out. But then the last half, I, it was just, it was kind of crazy. Now, I remember maybe back in 2012, 2013, watching this other fellow faith and fashion blogger's YouTube video. Um, she was, I think she was just doing some kind of speaking event and she mentioned that God was the first fashion designer. So literally from then until this year, I believed that God was the first fashion, like physical, fashion, designer, couturier, making clothes. It wasn't until I read the Bible for myself that that was not right. So it kind of blew my mind and I wanted to dive into it with you guys. So if you're interested in knowing, you know, who the first fashion designer was, because if you don't know, this industry and this business is like a trillion dollar industry, then keep watching. So award season is coming up and usually it's like back to back um, the first quarter I, I feel like of the year. Isn't it interesting how you know reporters and interviewers usually ask the celebrity or the artist like who are you wearing today or who are you wearing tonight and it's never like what are you wearing because visually when you are looking at a person and what they're wearing you can already tell what they're wearing. They're either wearing a you know whatever color they're wearing. If it's a sweetheart neckline, if it's got rhinestones on it, if it's got pleating, if it's got flounces, if it's got ruffles, if it's got tulle, like you can physically see what it is they're wearing. But it all goes back to who is behind that piece of work, that garment. So we're gonna take it back, way, way back in Genesis with Adam and Eve. So Genesis 3-7, and this is literally right after they took a bite of the forbidden fruit. And they said, he said, they said, then the eyes of both of them were open and they knew that they were naked and they sewed fig leaves together and made themselves loin coverings. So yes, the first fashion designers ever was Adam and Eve. Granted, it was because they fell in sin and they were ashamed and embarrassed and, you know, wanted to cover everything up, but that was the first human action after the first sin. And this is how I try to visualize the Bible in my brain when I read it. I just picture and imagine Adam and Eve like trying to find the biggest and least rotten leaves they could find and trying to piece them together or sew them. I don't know how they sewed them. Visually trying to measure each other, seeing if it will fit them. And God being God, you know, obviously fully knew what happened and has seen everything from start to finish. Fully knowing what they already did, what they've already done, and why they're trying to sew leaves together. And yet he still asks Eve, what is it that you have done? In verse 21, it says, the Lord God made garments of skin for Adam and his wife and clothed them. I think this is just such a beautiful picture of God's grace because clearly, obviously he was furious. Like he told them, you can have anything else out of this garden except that tree. But they went for that tree. And although, you know, God, place judgment on them and curse them along with the rest of mankind, pregnancy pains, other stuff. It really shows such a picture of God's grace because he didn't have to make garments of skin for him and Eve, you know, like he still wanted to clothe them. And I think that's just such like a beautiful picture of just God's mercy on us, even since basically the beginning of time. And what I also think is interesting is that he made garments of skin for Adam and his wife. God just wanted to create something longer lasting, something warmer, something softer, something sturdier for them than what they were trying to make out of their own efforts because of his love for them and his love for us. And I think this is just such a beautiful picture despite the temptation and the peer pressure and the enemy doing his thing and falling into sin, but it was such a monumental and such a catalyst moment for God's grace, mercy, and love for all of mankind. So that is pretty much it, short but sweet. Read the Bible for yourself because you can't always trust what you read and listen to and watch to online, clearly. Remember, 
that side of God. Still a God of judgment, of course, but he is a kind and he's a good father to all of us. Thank you guys so much for watching and keeping up with the vlog. I appreciate you guys and if you have any ideas for future videos, please let me know because um, yeah, I'm gonna need some help on that. Thank you again and God bless wherever you are and I will talk to you in the next video. Bye!